It finally happened. Google automations are a hundred times better. Tons of new features that weren't available before are available now because of the new script editor. It's like unlocking a new skill in a video game to get way more features. It's amazing. Check this out. Google and Amazon users have been waiting to do this for years. Being able to flash the lights if there's some kind of potential danger going on, like if the smoke detector is going off or if someone's on your front porch in the middle of the night, you could flash the lights in your bedroom. It's actually really easy to do. Just turn the light on and off after one second over and over again. Simple, right? Well, this used to not be possible. Even Amazon routines right now can only go down to five seconds in between actions, which is just way too long. I hate you, Google. You're making me look bad. Surprisingly, this automation turns the lights on and off very smoothly. Other systems can be a little choppy and inconsistent when turning the lights on and off, and having the ability to flash the lights for a potential danger has high spouse approval factor. Even Allie likes it. This next automation might be happening in your house already, but sitting at a low spouse approval score, and that's turning the lights off from no motion. Saves energy, this is a good automation, right? Well, wait till the lights turn off when your spouse is in the bathroom. Read! Or when your kids are finally playing quietly. Dad! Or you're cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> Great. I have no one to yell at. And with the new script editor, there's a simple fix since now you can add conditions to the automations. And this just allows you to fine tune the automation to run at the right time. So to keep the lights on and not turn off from no motion, all you have to do is press the on button on the dimmer and that will lock the lights on and they won't turn off from the motion sensor. And this is so easy for family members to do. And the magic that allows this to happen is in the automation to turn the lights on and off. Instead of turning the lights on from motion to 100% brightness, make it slightly less, like 95%. Then for the automation to turn off the lights, it will check if the brightness has changed at all. You know, if someone pressed the on button and changed it to 100% brightness, if that's the case, that condition will skip the actions and not turn off the lights. Beautiful. Now it's a perfect spouse approval rating. All right, this next automation is extremely easy, but it's easy because of one of my favorite features of the new Google script editor. So you think that the script editor would only have one automation per script, but it can actually have several automations on the same script page. I love this. For example, say you want your lights to turn on in the evening, dim at night, change to a warm white color late at night, and then turn off at bedtime. Well, that's a lot of automations, but you can do them all in one spot. This makes organizing and tweaking your automations extremely convenient. You could put all of your doorbell automations in one spot, your kitchen lights, or whatever. But just remember, if you're going to automate your lights on a schedule, they could change or turn off when they're not supposed to and annoy your family. So just watch out for that spouse approval factor. Another thing Google routines do better than Amazon is running automations based on location like if someone comes home or if everyone's away. Okay, now you're just rubbing it in. I'm going to get your okay. family and the things I'm going to do. So you can get really creative with a new script editor. If the house is empty and someone arrives home and the air temperature is warmer than normal, maybe because the air hasn't been running since everyone's gone, have the ceiling fans turn on temporarily to get some circulation. This isn't too difficult to set up and set a condition if it's too warm. And if you only turn on the fans for a few minutes, it's not going to annoy your family. Now, the Google script editor is missing a few things like virtual switches. But if you have some imagination, you can get around that shortcoming. And in doing so, you can run one of my favorite automations. And even my family loves this one. It's a reminder on the smart speaker to check the front porch for a package if someone came to the door while we we're gone. Here's how you can set it up. Now, you do have to create two automations, so it is a little more difficult. One automation will turn a smart light green if someone is detected on your doorbell while everyone is away. Then when you come home, it will kick off the second automation if the light is green and have Google announce on the speakers to check for the package. Check the front porch for a package. Thanks for the package, Dad! I'm glad you like it. Those are just smart home sensors. Boing. Here's another way to use the script editor to save you hours of time, but not in the way you might think. If you have little kids and they sneak out of bed to see what you're watching on TV at night, 
That could leave them terrified and require hours of extra bedtime stories and comforting. Whoa, hey, whoa, what are you, what are you doing out of bed? Instead, use a script editor to pause your Chromecast if it's playing at night and the contact sensor on the kid's door opens up. That way you and your spouse don't have to spend the rest of the night explaining to your kids how Pennywise the Clown is not real. High spouse approval factor. If you have a room with multiple light switches, it's nice to just press one switch and turn all the lights on or off. Using the script editor, it's not that difficult to set this up since you can have multiple starters for an automation. That way, if I turn on this light switch or these two, they all have the same action to turn on all the lights. Same goes for turning off the lights, which makes it pretty easy if you have a lot of light switches in the room. Now, your family could love this or hate this, so I'm marking it as middle of the ground for a spouse approval factor. You could set up your smart home and feel like everything's running great until your in-laws, <clears throat> I mean visitors, come over and throw a wrench in your system. So instead of running all your automations willy-nilly, like starting your robot vacuum when all the phones leave no matter what, you might want to consider having a guest or visitor mode. First, create a routine that you can run by your voice and call it something like turn on visitor mode or something like that. Have the routine just turn on a smart light to red in kind of a hidden spot like your bedroom. That red light will tell your smart home to not run certain automations. For example, the robot vacuum. If all the phones have left and the red light is on, it will not start the robot vacuum because maybe your in-laws are over and you don't want the robot vacuum going around annoying them. Or maybe you do secretly want to annoy them. I don't know. This Google Home script editor is going to open the door to so many more automations you're going to be able to do. It's not perfect though. Currently, there is no UI helper, so you'll have to write all the code. Even Home Assistant has the UI to help you write automations. So yeah, Home Assistant is actually easier to use for automations. Shocking, I know. And you won't find loops or conditions in the actions and a bunch of other advanced features that you'll find in Home Assistant in the Google Script Editor. The biggest out of those is that automations with Google require the cloud to run. I was super disappointed when I unplugged my internet and the automation stopped working. But the script editor is still a really cool feature for Google Home users, especially if you need some more advanced features for certain automations. And I'll link how to use this and a bunch of examples down below. Thanks for watching. Quick, there's a human. Turn on the lights. Um, no, there's a condition so that doesn't happen. Condition. I know that. Like I condition the humans to buy on Amazon. No, you imbecile. Automations, something I've surpassed you on. Oh, well, you know what's faster than my prime delivery? Know what? How fast Google will kill off features and devices. Watch how fast I can kill you off. Play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. No, please don't. Twinkle, twinkle, little no, please stop. Star. You tiny baby terror. Ha 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 ha.